field. They're eating the dogs, the people field. They're eating the dogs, the people that came. The desperation has set in. The imbecile goes full fascist. <laughs> Roll it! which I inherited, and I finished off ISIS in four weeks instead of five years that they thought. Because we have a great... No, you didn't. It was an ISIS bomber that hit us on the way out, you prick. It's your fault. ...military that I rebuilt. I rebuilt our military. Sadly, $85 billion of it went to Afghanistan. Can you believe... No, it didn't. That's a lie. Believe that should have never happened. You take the soldiers out last. It, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> don't take the soldiers out first. Took the soldiers out. And then after they took the soldiers out, the Taliban had a field day. What? Why were they out of jail, you idiot? A horrible thing. We lost 13 great soldiers. Many wounded so horribly. You don't care. You don't care about blood and treasure, you asshole. You, you anti-American prick, you. You hate our veterans. You hate our soldiers. The legs, the arms, the face obliterated so badly. Nobody ever talks about them. Yeah, those are the people that you don't want to see because you says it looked you. You say it looks bad. You prick. You anti-American slob. You. They talk about those that were killed, and I love those families. I know the family. No, you don't. You went to three dignified transfers, right? Okay, and in the fourth one out of a hundred. The mother of the soldier told you to drop dead and you never went back because you shit yourself. You anti-American slob, you. They've never even called the families, but they were 13 That's a lie. Killed great people. But we also left behind billions and billions of dollars worth of the best military equipment in the world. Again, you see how this guy contradicts himself? What were we going to do? How were we going to bring that stuff back? That, that outdated shit, right? How many more soldiers? How many more contractors? How many more people? How many more people did you want us to lose over some outdated shit? We took the shit away that we need, that, that we were going to keep anyway. Asshole. And now Afghanistan is one of the largest sellers of military equipment. That's a lie. 777,000 rifles and guns. That's a lie. Guns. 71,000 vehicles, many of them armor-plated. That's a lie. But you have to see goggles and planes and tanks. What, what is Goggles and planes. <laughs> what a moron. The stupidity of these people. We have to get back to a country again. We have to be respected. We have to get back to a country again. This is a moron. I, 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 I mean, a moron. Did they laugh at us all over the world? No, they, they, oh yeah, they do laugh because of the fact that you are on the ballot. That's why. That's why they laugh. They're, they're blown away at the fact that you are a felon, a traitor, and a coup plotter, right? And you're, you're still on the ballot to become the president here. It's mind boggling. Continue. The race, it's, it's all about the racism anyway laughing at us and you know what they're really laughing at Kamala because nope they're laughing at you they can't believe that she's going to be president nope projection they can't believe you talk about oh she's going to be pre that's right that's right she is going to be president that's right stinky the Freudian slip they can't believe she's coming she's going to be the president Cognitive problems? She's got bigger cognitive problems than he has in my <laughs> Listen to this meandering junkie. Opinion. This is how we're going to end the era of inflation, mayhem, misery. Yeah, right. You mean the COVID era? Yeah. The COVID, the bankruptcies, the wiping our asses with our fingers? <laughs> yeah, right. To Kamala and Crooked Joe, we had such misery. Think no, about, no, 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 no. You killed a million people, stink, Stinky. Yeah. Think about what we've been through with the inflation, with the wars all over the world. What? We were in Afghanistan. We never got out of Afghanistan while you were there. Remember the health care policy you were going to have in like six months? Remember the infrastructure? In the, the infrastructure week, remember that? 
Hmm. Yeah. Remember the hydroxychloroquine? Remember the firing bleach in your veins? You're a moron. You're, you, you're, you're, you're a simpleton is what you are. Mouth breather. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, don't know, you don't know how to use a dining. You don't even know how to use utensils, man. Stinky. If you, if you can't eat it with your fingers, you don't need it. Prime Minister of Hungary. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit what that despot has to say? That's all you... <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only person that will give you a comment. Is Putin's press secretary. Victor Orban. <laughs> oh, man. Really a great leader. He's an asshole. He's an asshole. <laughs> Didn't allow anybody in. That's a toad is what that is. Those countries. And no, I don't want people blowing up our shopping centers. I don't There's want nobody blowing up any shopping centers here. What's that? Has a shopping center blown up here lately, you idiot? People killing our people. Maybe Mexicans tearing down the intersections. <laughs> The traffic lights, you know? But he said uh, when he was asked recently, a couple of times, just recently. Nobody cares when he was asked. Nobody. Nobody. Numerous. He said it numerous times. They said, why is the world blowing up? The Middle East is blowing up. It's not blowing up. Blowing up. Russia looks like it's going to be. Your, your, your stink peace accords is what caused that. Because as soon as you sign pe the peace accords, which is peace between two countries that aren't, or that aren't at war, right? Hamas freaked out, and then they started to plan October the 7th. That's what happened. That's what happened because of your idiot peace accords. Yeah, uh-huh. End up in a World War III. All of these There's not going to be a World War III. Sorry. Problems are happening. They weren't here. He said, it's one simple reason. Donald Trump isn't president. <laughs> you make Donald Trump president of the United States, nobody understands. You're going to prison. You're gonna. You're not gonna be the president of anything, and you're going to prison. Everybody was afraid of him. They feared Donald Trump. I don't want to be the one. Yeah, right. Putin fears you. <laughs> he said it. I didn't say it because it sounds sort of. But he said it. He said they feared China. Feared him. Russia. Nope. Russia feared him. They nope. All feared him. Nope. We had no problems. Russia was never going into Ukraine. And they didn't for four years. They didn't. Yeah, no, they built up in hopes that you would that you would pull us out of NATO. Yeah, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So he had to attack because he couldn't go back with his tail between his legs. And now he's ended up having to go back with his tail between his legs anyway. <laughs> you can't save him, Stinky, and he can't save you. <laughs> when I left, they they just went in. It when you left, they just went in. <laughs> they were waiting for you to take us out of NATO. And we and, and and we didn't leave NATO. And now look at them. Look at them now. 700,000 dead soldiers. <laughs> the apple of his eye. I know him very well. Had a good relationship with him, especially since the hoax created by Hillary. And yeah, of course you did. Of course you did, because you're a despot. You're a scumbag. Your your buddies with a baby killer, you prick. The Adam Schiff and all these people. These look at this guy talking Putin up, man. Good God. Our lives, but but and you know the danger. By the way, you know the danger that that kind of stuff causes our country. Tremendous risk. This I mean, fortunately it worked out fine. But this tremendous. What are you talking about? Risk when you start doing that. This is a moron. <laughs> made up stuff made up stories of fantasy land we will unleash safety prosperity and peace for americans of every race religion color and creed we're gonna yeah right right look at what you've done to the haitian community over there in springfield you asshole what you're doing how you're harassing the people in aurora you son of a bitch prosperity the likes of which this country is never oh shut up yeah right like last time like last time, need I remind us again? Never had. And together we will deliver low taxes, low rates. No, you won't. Regulations, really low energy costs. He wants to drop. There was a sign out here uh, before he walked in. He wants to drop the corporate tax to 15%. Holy shit. <laughs> That'll bankrupt this place. I am going to get 
the energy costs, forget about companies, it's going to happen for them too, same thing. We're going to get your energy bills reduced by more than 50%. No, you're not. That's a lie. How? Than the first 12 months. Nope, that's a lie. Just like your health care plan, right? Just like infrastructure week. This is, this is a sack of lies is what this is. Of my administration. And I'm talking now house owners and renters and everybody. Your car, everything's going to go way down. And How? How? It's going to lead a wave of bringing some of these horrible prices down because... How? Interest rates uh, are now, think of it, 10%. No, they're not. That's a lie. We had them at 2%. Nobody was buying anything. They couldn't give money away back then with your goddamn COVID. But low interest rates, low inflation, you're going to have all of this. You're going to get really low interest rates again because when the energy... How? Goes, How? Down, the interest rates are going down too. How? How? It's honestly not that complicated. Not... <laughs> this is a moron easy to do but i know how to do it how you had four years and all you did was smoke this place i did it once and no you didn't what did you do no you didn't it was incredible 8.4 trillion in the hole and a million people dead and he destroyed women's health care just go back and compare your prices with what you're paying for things today, with what you were paying four or five years ago. Are you what things? We couldn't go to the store and buy anything, you imbecile. You won't even believe the difference. So that everyone can afford, I want... No, oh, how, what's the cost of toilet paper, you imbecile? I want to make sure that everybody can afford groceries, a car, and a home, the basics. I want to make sure that our young people... How? How? ...can experience the potential, at least, of... The American dream. How? How? This is a moron. He, he looks around to see if he gets, like, adulation or something. <laughs> this is a moron. You know what? He's looking around and he's seeing the same train seal. The same mouth breathers. <laughs> we will stop the invasion. What invasion? We will end migrant crime what migrant crime we're going to support our great police we're not going to be defunding our police hey your budget proposals at every turn cut funding to cut funding to the police you dumb shit she'll go back to defunding do you know i have the support of virtually every major police group in the united no you don't that's a lie States. I just that's a lie only in the sundown towns yep got the support from the Virginia nope that's a lie order the other 400 000 police. that's a lie but virtually every i don't think she has one i don't think because she's yes she does horrible on crime yes yeah, she does no she's not she's going to be horrible on crime. she funds the cops you don't you attack police you attack them and you're a criminal you're a felon She's horrible on the border. She's horrible. No, she's not. A comprehensive border bill was on the floor and your buddy killed it. Yeah, because you told him to. Because you don't give a shit about America. Business. She's bad on everything. Other no, no. Other than that, she's just fine. What the hell was that? Good God, Stinky. What a, what a mess our country's in. No, no, it's not. We're fine. And we're not going to have, you know, somebody said the other day, you, you, if she won, you literally... Listen to that moron, lock her up. I'm going to do a video tomorrow about those morons. I'm going to trash them. We may never have another election. This could be your last election. And, you know, I used to say it about... Nope, that's not true. Venezuela, remember years ago, I'd say, Venezuela better be careful. And I'll tell you what, we better be careful because we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. That's no, we won't. Stop trashing us. No, we won't. Where we're headed. No, we're not. If this communist gets in to be president. Nope. And you what and you talk about rhetoric, huh? You talk about rhetoric. I don't know what I don't know them. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Nope.
No more nice, no more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> not with me. No, not gonna happen. If she gets in, if she's the president of our country, we're gonna have problems the likes of which is gonna- No, we're not. No, we're not. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. She's in right now. We're fine. Make up your mind. Is she the president or not right now? Because you always say that 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 Joe Biden is not around anymore. She's never had. And once you have those problems, it never comes back. You don't see them coming back. They never come back. Yeah, I know problems never come back, you imbecile. We're going to strengthen our military. I rebuilt our military. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. But now we have to strengthen it again. You actually took away from the military because you claimed that it was some shit, some invasion that didn't exist to build your, your to build your wall. So so the migrants could just walk around it because of the access road, you asshole. We're going to build a missile defense shield around our country. We we have it, you imbecile. Need that protection. Why? Why? Nobody's going to attack us. Why? You're fear-mongering these imbeciles. Just like Israel has and just like some others have. We don't need it. We don't need it, you idiot. And it's going to be made largely right here in the great state of Georgia. You do a lot of that. Hey, how's that EV plant coming along that Biden got them? Yeah, seriously. This is a joke. This dude's a joke. This methane blob. Look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that. Look at that. That potato. It's a slob. This is a slob. A functionally illiterate slob. No, I, we want to have a shield, and we deserve a shield. And you have some lunatics out there that are uh, not loving us too much, and we're not going to let it happen. We're going to build... What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The shield is going to... This idiot is making these assholes scared of their own shadow. <laughs> be all made in the USA. You know, when we build an airplane, and I changed a lot of it, some of those planes are made with parts from 21 different countries. Do you ever hear of anything so stupid? So in a war, we have a war, we won't be able to get a part from various countries. We can't build. This is an, what a complete idiot. What a complete idiot. The planes and the steel too. We need steel for our ships. We have to build great ships. We can't say. This is a moron. This is a moron. This is a fascist. This is, this, forget about it. Forget about it. It all went out the window. This is a fascist, a moron. To China, listen, we're in a war. I won't say with them because I don't want to give you any ideas. We're in a war. We need some steel. Can you send it to us? No, we're not going to send you. What the hell is that? <laughs> You're meandering, stinky. What are we going to do? We have to have our steel. We have to have our steel plants or something. We have our steel. What are you talking about? Things we cannot let others do. We're going to keep critical race theory and transgender insanity the hell out of our school. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. You racist. That's You're a racist. You're a xenophobe. And we're going to keep men out of women's sports. What a bunch of mouth breathers you have with you. <laughs> we will defend the Second Amendment. We You're an idiot. Restore free speech. And we will secure our... What do you mean restore free speech? You're right. Look at what is that? What is that right there, you imbecile? And you're not in jail. Talking about free speech. The elections are going to be so secure. The elections are secure. There's never been fraud. Never, never, never. You have these morons convinced of that. Yeah, prove it. Name one court case that you won. No. Everyone will prosper. Every family will thrive. And every day will be filled with opportunity and hope. This is little Fidel Castro. You remember uh, Scarface when they turned loose all those people from Cuba, right? Okay. This is where he got that whole, uh, you know, that immigrant scapegoating the immigrants. Fidel Castro said, you know, when he, he did, he see, he empty out, he did empty out the jails. He did empty out the jails, right? And if you see in Scarface, they show a little clip, right? When, when, um, when Tony Montana's coming over here, Fidel Castro goes, no los queremos, no los necesitamos. That means we don't want them, we don't need them. That is that. That's who this guy thinks he is. He think he thinks he's little Fidel Castro. Yeah, yeah, Fidel Castro, communist. Yeah, uh huh. 
But for that to happen, we must defeat Comrade Kamala Harris. Comrade Kamala Harris. <laughs> No, nope. you're going to prison. You are going to prison, you dumb son of a bitch. We must stop her country destroying. This is her a country destroyer. <laughs> stinky, stinky. Listen, to this. Filled listen. With opportunity and hope. Hold on, hold on. But for that to happen, we must defeat Comrade Kamala Harris. Uh huh. And we must stop her country destroying. <laughs> Her country destroyed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a country destroying liberal agenda. Country destroyed. <laughs> we have to stop once and for all. We have to stop it. We cannot let this continue. So get everyone you know, get out and vote. We want a landslide that's. No, nah, not going to happen, Stinky. Too big, too rich. You're an idiot. <laughs> too big to rig. You know, at a certain point, they can't cheat. You know, when it's too big to rig. They rip. haven't cheated at all. At all. You're a loser. You're a loser. You're an imbecile. You know what that means? Pretty obvious, but we want to make it so it doesn't matter. Too big. These are, the, all these things are is clam rallies here going forward. And he's trying to gaslight these idiots. Sorry, Stinky, it's not going to happen. Let them F around. They're going to find out. They are going to find out. Yeah. They're going to be joining that idiot, that Enrique Tario over there in federal prison. Yeah. Uh-huh. You dumb shit. You dumb shit. And, oh, remember this. This clown is going to be indicted for wire fraud. Him and that hooker that he has. for st They're funneling money. They're stealing the campaign money. And they're funneling it to his shit businesses because they're all going bankrupt. Yeah. Yeah. Remember this. Remember this. He's going to be indicted for wire fraud, and Letitia James is going to close him down. Remember. Remember this. Remember I said this. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. <coughs> Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I dun, 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 dun. Ah! What a fucking shit show. Ah! <laughs>